Hey everyone and welcome back to The Breakdown. Today I'm going to be teaching you how to download and install World Edit in Minecraft 1.16.5 single player. So you can install World Edit on servers, but you can also install it and use it in single player worlds and that's what this video is going to be talking about. On a server, you can only use it if you own the server or have permissions on that server to use it. Whereas in single player, you can use it all you want. There are no limitations as to how much you can use World Edit. So we're going to be using World Edit in single player here today. First and foremost, though, I do want to mention a message from our sponsor, which is Apex Minecraft. So you can go to the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to start your very own 24-hour DDoS protected Minecraft server for you and your friends. We actually love and trust Apex so much that we host our own server, playedoutbreakdowncraft.com on them. So if you want to start your very own Minecraft server, look no further than Apex Minecraft Hosting, where you can use World Edit all you want on a server because it's your server. Again, that's the first link down below the breakdown.xyz slash apex to get the server set up. Now let's go ahead and get World Edit set up into Minecraft single player. Obviously, the first thing we need to do is download World Edit, and to do that, you want to go to the second link down below and that's going to take you here. This is our in-depth text tutorial for getting a world edit in single player and um the reason we have this is because sometimes I talk a little too fast in videos people say and in this case you can go through it at your own pace as you can see. So once you're here though you want to click on this green download world edit button that's going to take us off to world edits official download page where you want to come over here to the right hand side and scroll down until you see minecraft 1.16. Then you're going to see World Edit. If you hover over this, right, this first version with the, the green R, hover over it and it should say World Edit. And then it should say Forge for MC 1.16.3.4 and .5. As you can see, it says 1.16.5 at the very, very end there. That's because World Edit works for 1.16.3, 1.16.4, and 1.16.5 all the same in single player. It's all on one version, so that's pretty cool. So nevertheless, as long as it says Forge for MC 1.16. We are good to go there. We can go ahead and click the orange download button to the right of that. That's then going to take us off to this page where after a few seconds, our download will begin in the bottom left. So if we just wait a few seconds, there it is in the bottom left. Forge World Edit is now downloaded down there. We do need to keep it to finish the download. You'll probably need to save it in the center of your screen if you're on Mozilla Firefox. Now let's go ahead and move on to Forge. We obviously need Forge installed to run World Edit for Forge. So let's go ahead and do that. First thing we want to do is go to the third link down below, and that's going to take you here. This is our in-depth guide for getting Forge in Minecraft 1.16.5. It's helped over a million people get Forge set up. We're going to be going through the process in this video, but if we go a little too fast, or if you have any issues, this Forge tutorial right here will probably help you. Let's go ahead and click on this green download button, and it will take us off to Forge's official website, where we want to say it's, make sure it says MC 1.16.5 here. As we can see, it doesn't. And to fix that, we want to come over here to the left-hand side, click on plus 1.16, and then click on 1.16.5. Then we have MC 1.16.5 right here, meaning we can come under download latest and click on the installer button. Now, after a few seconds, it'll take us off to add focus. We're stop! Don't click anything on this page. You and I click a single thing on this page whatsoever. The only thing that you want to click on this page is the red skip button in the top right. That's it. The only thing you want to click is the red skip button in the top right. Do not click any other buttons except the red skip button that appears in the top right after about 10 seconds. Finally, in the bottom left, we will have Forge down here. As long as it has Forge in the little title here, we can go ahead and click Keep, and we're good to go. You will need to save it in the center of your screen on Firefox. Again, you're safe to do that as long as it has Forge in the title. Now we can go ahead and minimize our browser, and here on our desktop, we do have World Edit, and we've also got Forge. If these aren't on your desktop, no worries. They're going to be found in your Downloads folder. To find that, click the little Windows icon in the top left of my screen, probably in the bottom left of your screen. Click that little Windows icon in the top or bottom left of your screen, and then go ahead and type in download. Now this downloads file folder in Windows, click on that and in here you will find World Edit and Forge. Drag them to your desktop just for ease of use. Now let's go ahead and start off with Forge. To do this we want to go ahead and right click on the Forge file we downloaded, click on open with, click on Java and click OK. But Nick, what if I don't have Java? Well if you don't have Java here when you right click and click on open with, if this isn't here there's no Java, you need to download Java. And you can find that in the description down below, our in-depth guide that has helped again over a million people download Java for Minecraft to make sure they get the right version for Minecraft mods. World Edit being a Minecraft mod, you need this version of Java. Then if that still doesn't work, you're still having issues, you still can't open Forge, we want to come back over here and run the jar fix. This is a simple three-step tutorial. And what this is going to do is make all the .jar files in your computer work with Java once again, basically linking them up right like so. Finally, we can go ahead and minimize our browser, right-click on Forge, click on Open With, click on Java, and click OK. 
that's then going to open up the mod system installer for Forge here, where we just want to click on install client and click OK. And then download and install Forge for 1.16.5. The only issue you might have in installing 1.16.5 Forge is if you've never played Minecraft 1.16.5 before. If that's the case, go run it and then it will work. But as you can see, it says successfully install client profile Forge for version 1.16.5. We can click OK and close out of that. You can then delete Forge off of your desktop, get rid of it. You don't need that Forge file you downloaded anymore. Now let's go ahead and install World Edit. To do this, we want to go ahead and open up the Minecraft launcher. And before you slam that play button, we need to make sure we've got this Forge profile selected. Now mine's automatically selected, but but if yours isn't, right, go ahead and click on this drop down box or this pop up box, if you will, and select Forge. If Forge isn't here, what do you do? Well, in that case, you come up here to the installation tab and you want to make sure all of these are clicked, right? Like I said, you want to make sure all of these versions right here are clicked. They should all have the green checks. And if they are, Forge should then appear. But if Forge still doesn't appear, what you do is click on this plus new button here. You can name this whatever you want. I'm going to name it play.breakdowncraft.com. Why well, am I naming it that? Because that is our own Minecraft server. We have 1.16.5 grief protected survival with medieval survival having 30 custom quests and a player based economy and aquatic survival having a truly incredible slash shop based economy with MCMMO jobs. It's truly amazing. And then we have the best Skyblock server out there. I guarantee you will love it with daily rewards minions, custom generators, an epic storyline. It is truly amazing. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com is the IP. Now I'm going to go ahead and set my resolution to 1920 by 1080. And then I'm going to come up here to this version drop-down box. You see this version drop-down box here? You want to click on that. And in here, you should have released 1.16.5-Forge. Here it is for me, right up here at the top. Yours may be down a little bit. And I've seen it actually at the very, 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 very bottom of this very, very long versions list. So make sure you check down there if you can't find it at the top. But once you've found release 1.16.5, 5-Forge, click on it, and then in the bottom left, you want to go ahead and click on the green Create button. Then we have this new profile, play.breakdowncraft.com. Under it, it says 1.16.5-Forge, so we can go ahead and hover over that and click on the green Play button. We're then going to get this warning that we're about to play mod in Minecraft. Well, of course we are. we have installing a Minecraft mod here, so we want to go ahead and understand the risk. We know what we're doing. Click Play. And you know what you're doing, even if this is the first time you're doing this, because you're doing it with this tutorial, right? We're walking you through everything step by step. So it's 100% safe. I promise you are good to go. I don't hate that they put that warning there. It's almost discouraging people to mod Minecraft. And one of the favorite things for me about Minecraft is modding Minecraft. So I don't like that warning, but nevertheless, we are now through it. So once we're here on the Minecraft main menu, it's going to take a second to load up, but once we're there, for installing World Edit from this point is super, super easy. The hard part is installing Forge. The easy part is installing World Edit. So you've gotten Forge installed. The hard part is over. Now let's go ahead and get World Edit installed. To do that, from the Minecraft main menu, you want to go ahead and click on this Mods button here, right? See this Mods button on the Minecraft main menu? Click on that, and then you want to click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. Again, from the main menu, click on the Mods folder, and then click on Open Mods folder in the bottom left. That's then, of course, going to open up your Minecraft Mods folder. Then you want to take World Edit from your desktop and drag and drop it right like so into the Mods folder. Now, sure, this is 1.16.3, but remember, it's compatible with 1.16.3, 1.16.4, and 1.16.5. So we're good there. It is now working. Now we can close out of the Mods tab, click Done, and it's not going to be there. Right? It's never going to appear after we've drag and dropped it into this Mods folder here. How do we get it to appear? Well, we quit out of Minecraft. We open up the Minecraft launcher again. This time, though, you don't have to create a version. If you had to, you've already got one. So either select the version you created, which in my case is play.breakdowncraft.com, or the Forge version, whichever one that you have. As long as it says 1.16.5-Forge under it, we're going to go ahead and click on the green play button. This time, Minecraft's going to open up, and you'll actually see right here, Complete a deep scan of World Edit Forge MC. So that means World Edit's now recognized as a mod. That doesn't mean it's going to work. It's going to work, I promise, but it doesn't mean it's going to work. It just means Forge says it's there, and it's going to try to make it work as a Minecraft mod. Now we just kind of have to wait for the Minecraft main menu to come up, and then we'll be able to use World Edit in-game and verify it and all that stuff in-game, and then we can, you know, come back over here and, like, show you that it's on the Mods tab and all that. So anyway, here we are on the Minecraft main menu. If we go to the Mods folder, there is World Edit, so that means it is installed. Now we can go ahead and jump into single player as well. I think we're safe to use this world. I think so. Oh, it's it's, it's got to convert. I'm not going to do that. I just go ahead and call this the world edit world. Obviously, we're going to make it creative. I would recommend you have to have cheats on for world edit to work in single player. I'll show you a little workaround in game if you don't have cheats on. Let's go ahead and do a quick jump cut until this world has been created. All right, so here we are in Minecraft. Now, if you have cheats enabled, you'll be able to do slash slash wand and get your world edit wand and start, you know, using world edit. But if you don't have cheats enabled, here's what you do. Go ahead and hit escape. Then click this open to land world. Then you want to make sure you turn allow cheats on. Then when you start your land world, you will be able to 
do slash slash wand and get a wand right like so. We now have two. So let's go ahead and prove world edit is working. One of the fun things is to uh, make a golden beach. That's always one of my favorite things to do. So let's go over here and we're going to go ahead and just make this big selection right like so. And then we're going to replace. So we're going to do slash slash replace all of that sand with golden block. Bam. So now we have a golden beach right like so. Look at that pristine. Now if we wanted to actually go ahead and change all of these, uh, all this wood here, not wood, excuse me. Oh, that, that could be fun actually. Let's change all of the birch and oak wood to diamonds. <laughs> because why not? So we're going to go ahead and fly over here and then this is quite the big selection. So if we do slash slash replace and then we want oak log to be replaced with diamond block. Boom, look at that. We've got some diamond trees up in here now. And then obviously these leaves are going to start decaying. I didn't think this one through, but that's okay. If we wanted to undo that, we can do slash slash undo. But this isn't a tutorial about, you know, how to do things. I, I, want, I, want, those, I want those diamond blocks back. That was kind of cool. Um, and then we can actually, ooh, let's do this too. Let's go ahead and change the birch to, um, to like redstone or something. Something weird like that. Birch log to redstone block. Gotta get to it. There we go. Bam! Look at that. That is that is uh, that is one overwhelming, overwhelming hillside I've created. But nonetheless, there you have it. That is how you can install World Edit. This isn't a tutorial on how to use World Edit per se. There's tons of other videos out there on how to use World Edit. We might even have some coming on the channel very soon. But um, there you have that. That is how you can use. Uh, get World Edit installed in single player. You can copy things, you can paste things, you can replace things, you can like build spears. Like I think if we do slash brush, and then let's do um, cylinder, and then I will make it something weird like acacia st stairs. That should be weird enough. And let's go ahead and do that. And now we are placing acacia stairs everywhere, as you can see. Just like all the way down through here, we now have this acacia stair pathway, which actually doesn't look that bad. Really, like it really doesn't look like this could look a lot worse, right? Like, anyway, there you have it. That is how you can. This actually kind of makes a cool path. Anyway, that is how you can download and install World Edit in Minecraft 1.16.5 and completely ruin a world in about 30 seconds. Anyway, my name is Nick. This has been the breakdown. Thank you so so much for watching. Come play with us on the best Minecraft server in the multiverse. Play.breakdowncraft.com. We have grief protected survival custom skyblock. It is truly amazing. Over 200 players online during peak hours every single day. So come play with us. Play.breakdowncraft.com. Is the IP. I cannot wait to see you online. My name is Nick. This has been the breakdown, and I'm out. Peace.